take this very seriously and as we progress here I'll be asking my ring supervisor who is a qualified lawyer as well to answer some of your questions arising from this and open the uh, floor for a Q&A. This is going to be transparent. We don't want you to go back with any doubts in your mind as to the governance of Boxing Commission of Fiji. As you all know, there was a fresh start. Shubhasa Panna, the outgoing chairman, made a statement in this press saying he's adamant there should be a fresh start. Yes, Dr. Panna, fresh start was made on 1st of August and a new board took over. And we are doing just that, correcting the wrongs of the past. Thank you, uh, sir. I think before any question, I just like to clarify some of the, uh, the highlights uh, that have been uh, questioned here in the uh, yesterday's few steps. Uh, the first one uh, was that uh, one uh, um, boxing official, uh, which is uh, Semoni Tondong, um, he claimed to be um, to be um, Paul Rat uh, um, manager trainer. Uh, in our record, it is very clear that uh, he is not a registered uh, trainer or a licensed uh, trainer for, uh, for this uh, boxer. And uh, we have a copy of uh, the boxer he himself before he signed the contract on that time. Um, he signed that he doesn't have any affiliation with, uh, with uh, this uh, person who claimed to be his manager. So uh, that is uh, null and void. Uh, his claim on the fifth times. Uh, secondly, um, the Boxing Commission, under the uh, the Boxing Commission Act, uh, has powers to uh, uh, to um, award license to any uh, uh, boxing office. That's including promoter, uh, the um, manager, trainer, and the um, the coach. So as I've said, uh, that um, this particular person that had uh, claimed to be a, uh, a trainer to Ratumakoro uh, is not a registered trainer for him. Um, we did uh, also uh, met him uh, on the 20, um, 21st before the uh, Blue Water program. Uh, we asked him uh, and we cleared this with him and he did agree. And you know, it was unfortunate that uh, he uh, went again and uh, claimed this with the newspaper. But uh, one thing we, we uh, the Boxing Commission Fiji, uh, also would like to ask uh, the, uh, the journalist, please be a responsible journalist. If you think uh, that uh, there are some doubts in some of the issues, please uh, verify it with the Boxing Commission. We've, we've seen that this is uh, really, you know, um, it brings disrepute to the Boxing Commission and we as members. Um, you know, uh, it gives the wrong message to, to the public that we are not doing our work. But actually, we are doing our work according to the Act. And uh, we have uh, given the, the boxing rules to the, uh, all these boxing officials as well. And if they are aware of the content of these rules, you know, uh, really, uh, whatever they raise, it will be, again, a non-issue. Um, that is uh, in regards to uh, the claim made by uh, that uh, train, Simone Tondong. Uh, the other one that we've uh, We've noted that, uh, you know, uh, highlighted by the former uh, chair for the Boxing Commission and uh, highlighted by uh, Mundilia, um, 
This is uh, Christian Immobilia. In the last program, he appeared uh, with uh, Nathan Singh, who is now a hater, and they fought for this uh, super featherweight. And, and he claimed that he had two. You know, uh, the Boxing Commission, according to our rules, it is we have the power to, um, and that is something that uh, we have to uh, to make it clear now to all uh, boxers and uh, boxing um, um, officials that uh, I will I will read this. Perhaps you will take um, a snapshot of uh, the provision as well. Okay, for a um, this is under page 53, um, article 81 on dual Fiji titles. I would like to, uh, to read this to make it clear. Okay, a boxer may hold one Fijian title if the champion is in a weight division wishes to contest a uh, BCF Fijian title in another weight division, either higher or lower. This must be approved by the BCF directors. We are the, uh, the, the directors, the board. And that is um, uh, subsection one of Article uh, 81. On uh, subsection two of the same uh, article, it says, should the champion successfully win the title, he or she will be given seven days to notify the uh, BCF directors of the Fijian titles which he wished to be recognized. Meaning, for example, if the boxer is a uh, welterweight title holder and he wished to, uh, to fight for a middleweight uh, title, <coughs> or higher, higher uh, title, uh, weight category, he can fight and if he won, won that uh, title, he has seven days to declare which one of which to, uh, to maintain. If he wish to maintain that, he can, but if not, he can really be that. You might uh, need to, uh, to read that as well. So, um, uh, as alluded to, highlighted by our, our current chair, uh, we make, uh, we, we took up uh, office in uh, 1st August of 2023, and we ensured the Honorable Minister that we are going to make a change. And that is what we are doing. Uh, it is uh, wha wha what we are doing, correcting a lot of this. And um, there is an highlight which say um, titles vacated because of weight and fight play. As highlighted, we have uh, removed um, these two, uh, I think uh, this is part of uh, the, the title that is to be uh, staged in, uh, in yes. Lampas. And according to, we have the powers, and that is why we've removed those two new, uh, I mean, those two titles, which are vacant at the moment. Can you, can you pause that? Yeah. Further to that, w, an IBO vice chair, Justin Kennedy, also sent me an email when I went back to him to ask what is Australia doing. He said, Australian rules, you can only hold one title. Very clear, one title. And if you win the second national title, you must declare which one you're going to keep. See? All boxers, don't you stick with all the titles? No, you can't do that. The law does not allow you to do that. It's very clear. And, uh, and we are told that Bindu Singh didn't know about it. Bindu Singh's father has got this yellow book. You gave him, right? Read it. You don't read, you come here. And then you blame us. Think. As uh, Iranian said, we are correcting the mistakes of the past. That's what we're doing. When we do this, <coughs> they get hurt. They can't accept the truth. What you do, you blame the chairman and the board. No, the board doesn't take any bribes. The board is not the puppet of any promoter or any media. We are here for the interest of professional boxing. Ironi? Yeah, uh, to continue, uh, 
We've made every effort to work together with the uh, Fiji Amateur Boxing uh, Association of FAB, um, knowing that we need a pathway to be clear um, to the countries from an amateur to, uh, to a professional boxer. Um, to the last two programs that was uh, held this year, uh, one in, uh, in May, uh, which was the, the South Pacific Boxing Promotion, and uh, the one in uh, June, the uh, Blue Water. You might have noted that we've uh, facilitated uh, more than eight, eight uh, amateur uh, we are, uh, we have The code is clear, that's Pro-M. Well, knowing that we have to be clear on the pathways for these amateurs. And, uh, you know, it is uh, a good uh, indicator. Uh, we've seen that uh, it is a positive uh, move because now we know that, you know, um, boxers, most of boxers who are there, they are old. So they are facing off and we see the transition from uh, this uh, program. We know we, we, uh, we uh, look after their we look at how they fight, their stance, we, we, we see that they're fit, and we, we met, we, we allow them to transit through that uh, gradually, so that they can be made uh, good uh, title holders, and it will improve the boxing uh, standard in Fiji. Uh, just um, further to that, um, uh, there was a comment uh, from uh, one of our trainers, well, uh, no. He was claiming that um, according to, um, to the uh, FAM or Fiji Amateur Boxing Association um, or, and BCF, someone has to uh, fight more than 30 uh, amateur f fight before this. I have highlighted this. It is why we've taken this step on the foot, uh, um, on the pathways, knowing that we've, we've seen that boxes are ready, why go for the 30? You know? These amateur boxes, um, you know, it is, uh, I'm sorry to say that none of our uh, amateur boxers qualify for the, for the Olympic. And, you know, what will happen now to these old boxes? They will, uh, of course, switch to uh, professionals. And with this uh, good uh, background of amateur, the standard will be lifted and we will be sending good uh, professional boxes overseas. You know, it is a uh, source of employment now. For uh, until now, we've sent more than eight boxers overseas to fight in professional, uh, both New Zealand and Australia, for them as a source of employment. They go in on uh, Wednesday, uh, fight night Friday, return on the next day. So uh, that is a good business uh, exposure for them as well. So um, I see that. Uh, the continuation of uh, uh, this pathway will be good. Our challenge now, our challenge now that we have only two active promoters, and we we hope that uh, other promoters will come in, and we hope that these two promoters will host more professional uh, bouts uh, program, and you know it will uh, enhance uh, and further exposes our our boxes. I'm ready to, uh, to take a few questions. You have a comment? Yes, just uh, a meeting in the program. Eh? Why we, 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 we have done this platform for programs? Because Farmer has stopped its boxes, amateur boxes, from uh, participating or competing in uh, professional programs. So program has given the rights to the boxer and the trainer whether to be part of amateur or to pursue further their career. Now, not all of them will be selected for Fiji team. They have options here and future as well. This is a source of income, a professional platform, and there's a, there are pathways as well. For example, Mikhail Ramblava. Now he's training in Australia. He comes out of, uh, from uh, amateur. Yeah, and there's, uh, they've excluded him because he was part of uh, program and then there was a uh, difference in negotiation where the demand is very high from FAPA. So now he con continues in pro, but now in overseas, under tra uh, training under a, um, a club there.
So that is what we are implementing. That's why program is working. It is not sanctioned by FAP. Let me clear this. It is not sanctioned by FAP. It does not have to be sanctioned. This is part of our programs as a development program. I'm uh, representing uh, BCF as a development program. So this is how I'm able to initiate this. So it can help those that are just stuck in amateur to have more um, career exposing professional plus get a good income. Vinaka. <laughs>